Hey, what's up? My name is Hero. I want to show you how you can run Overwatch on a crappy potato computer. I've got an IdeaPad S340, that's an i3 1005G1, 1.2 GHz, uh, 4 cores if it's hyper threaded, 4 GB of RAM, and it uses integrated Intel UHD 620 graphics. You can definitely get 60 frames or more. In heavy team fights, you might drop to about 50. It's still playable though. Here's a little bit of footage, don't mind the coloring because I'm recording that off of my phone. We'll have more samples later. But we're going to get right into the settings first outside of Overwatch with the actual um, file. So right click on the desktop shortcut, open the file location, right click on your launcher, go into properties. Under compatibility, make sure you have disable full screen optimizations checked, run this program as administrator check, change high DPI settings, check that thing, check applications. Okay, okay, apply, okay. You get it. That's it for that. Now the Battle.net launcher. You want to make sure it's not running in the background. So there, click on settings, click on app, exit the Battle.net app completely on game launch. Um, you can also turn off browser hardware acceleration. I saw this in another video. I'll link that in the description too. But other than that, that's about all you need. Now starting with the Overwatch settings, to make sure that it's on full screen. I am running it windowed. Don't mind that. That's just for taking screenshots. Click on full screen, turn off VSync, turn off triple buffering, turn on reduce buffering. When it comes to FPS, you want that set to custom. You might have it uh, display based or 30 FPS. That's really going to gimp you because what we're going to be doing is changing the frame rate cap and bringing it all the way to the max, which is 400. You can kind of peep that here. Again, frame rate cap, slide it all the way to 400. Graphics quality, we're gonna set it to low. Click on the plus sign next to advanced. And then make sure that your render scale is set to either 50%, 75 or 100%, depending on what your computer can run. If it's at automatic, it really throttles your FPS a lot, so make sure it's set to one of those. You can set it to 150 or 200. I mean, more power to you, but you probably don't need this guide. Everything else is already going to be set to low if you've clicked the low preset, but you want to set anti-alias quality to off. Now, if your computer is a little bit better, you might be able to get away with setting it to low or medium so that it's not so boxy on the screen or you don't see the jagged line so much. Go ahead and try it a few times. You can actually change that in-game and shouldn't have you have to restart. Next thing we're going to do is go to controls. I've got allied health bar set to always, it just really helps in the game. Might take a tiny FPS hit. Um, friendly outlines, I have it and off. Uh, it's not the best thing, ideally you want it um, on default or always, but that's just what my computer could take. Alright, you can also change it per hero if you need to. Like on a healer you might be setting it to on, that's up to you. Just take a look at my option settings here. Big thing is to keep tips display off. Other things are kind of preference, even outline strength. Then you want to make sure that enable high precision mouse put input blah, 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 input is on. That's it. Click apply. Go into your game. Also make sure that all of the other programs you have are closed. You have a browser close that discord even spotify i mean if you got a crappy laptop you're gonna need all the help you can get if you can run it then more power to you don't mind the coloring here we've got a few minutes of samples but with tank uh, zarya i have soldier i also have echo and then i've got a healer mara so you can kind of get an idea of what the frame rates will be like so of course it's going to be different depending on your computer so thanks for watching that's all for me a lot of these were taken from other guides. Just wanted to put them all together and then actually give you a visual sample. Um, again, this is all recorded from my phone. You can see the little webcam up top there. Couldn't record this in OPS, but yeah, hope you enjoy. It's not gonna look this uh, blurry in game. That's probably more my phone than anything. So you have the frames per second from MSI Afterburner. This is literally recorded on an iPhone 7, so it looks a lot better in game, though it is definitely uh, boxy if you have it down to 50% like me. If 
you like it, you can click like button. If you don't dislike it, you want to see other videos, I might put up some for like how to run Paladins, since it's kind of a similar game though, very different um, character setup was, and you can't change in the game. But yeah, hope this helps you. I hope you can, you know, enjoy Overwatch at least, until you get a better computer. Have a good day.